Hi, I'm Yvonne Newman, founder of VITAL. Thank you, FMS, for your support of our rumba gun project in Calcutta, India, a child protection and education program for children living in the red light district. It is greatly appreciated by all at VITAL and the children. The program is located in the red light district of Rambagan, an extension of Asia's largest district of Sonagachi. The children of the sex workers face immense hardship as they are vulnerable to neg neglect, abuse or exploitation. Along with the risk of getting into the sex trade, they are also exposed to the liquor trade. Customers make the children buy alcohol for them whilst drug peddlers hunt for young children. So the children are prone to increased risk of substance abuse. <coughs> Domestic violence is common along with physical, sexual, emotional and verbal abuse. The children have always been stigmatized. It is a challenge for them to accept the fact that their mothers are sex workers, leaving a huge psychological impact on them forever. Many of the children live in single-roomed houses with more than four family members. This situation creates difficulty for the children when it comes to studying. Thus, the safe space at Rumbagun serves the purpose of providing them with the proper environment required for studying. Infants are made to sleep under the bed in the same room where their mothers work, so a creche was formed taking in children below the age of five years. They are looked after by a community volunteer who engage them in various play activities. Vital partners with CINI who run evening safe spaces from 6 till 10 p.m. when it is the most vulnerable time for the children. The main motive of creating a safe space is to engage the children in educational and recreational activities thereby preventing them from entering into unethical activities. With over 500 children, they are divided age-wise among five different centres. The project provides education, health care, protection, counselling, creativity inputs, health inputs and advocacy awareness raising to the children of sex workers who are primarily aged between 3 and 18. The children at this project have set up their very own children's parliament, which is the first of its kind in West Bengal and has been taken as a model for local NGOs. Numerous activities help empower the children and parents of the community, equipping them with knowledge on how to defend themselves against vulnerabilities such as capacity building workshops and training sessions where they are sensitised on various issues of health hygiene, career choices, sexual and reproductive health, anger and stress management, management, leadership and communication. Creative activities such as art and crafts, dance, drama and music tend to give children new opportunities, a break from the educational curriculum and most importantly, a sense of tranquility. Counselling support has been given to the children to relieve them of the stress and anxiety they have been facing through isolation and stigmatisation. Yeah. Monthly meetings are held with mothers of the children to discuss issues afflicting their lives, such as domestic abuse and issues they may be facing when raising their children. When Vital visits each year, these mothers take time off work to meet with us and invite us to their homes. To conclude, I would like to give you a success story about Priyanka. She attended the project since the age of two and unusually also with her mother's support. Many friends around her mysteriously disappeared or were married off. But Priyanka, Priyanka's mother, always told her to work hard and not once did she advocate following in her footsteps and staying in the red light district. After graduating with the highest grades and marks possible in her higher secondary examinations, Priyanka went on to study sociology at university. She set up the child's parliament at the project 
the first of its kind in Kolkata, which has been taken as a model for other NGOs and which has seen great success. Priyanka regularly volunteers at the project and helps other children to also speak out about child protection issues. Thank you, FMS, once again for your generous support.